right, welcome back to the channel. And uh, as you saw in the title, we are headed to Baja. And we got a whole new setup for this. We got our, uh, our brand new rooftop tent um, right here. Um, just kidding. Um, so we're gonna be ground tending it. We had an issue with the Xterra's uh, rear axle. So we are uh, going to be uh, using the Jeep. So it's nice having an extra rig to uh, be able to do that. Otherwise we'd be sitting at home instead of going down to Baja. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy the adventure. All right, we made it to camp and uh, at this spot right by the beach. Beach is over over here, you can't see it. We'll show you in the morning though. But yeah, you can hear it. <laughs> so we're gonna set up our rooftop tent um, right, right there on the ground because uh, that's our new rooftop tent. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get camp set up and then we'll probably just chill and relax. It's uh, late, so um, so we'll uh, probably catch you in the morning. This is what coming down to Baja is all about. This is what Baja is all about. Beaches like this. This was just a quick overnight stop on our way to get as far south as we could to enjoy uh, warmer waters. So now we'll just fast forward to the next spot that we're going to attempt to get to and we will catch up at the trailhead. All right, so we are all gonna air down. We have no idea on this trail or condition, so we're also gonna stagger um, a couple of the vehicles just so we know um, that we can tow and uh, pull the uh, vehicles out. And uh, it should be a fun experience. We're just gonna go explore, find a, a beach somewhere in camp. So there's all the, uh, all the rigs, nine of us. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a, should be fun. We're gonna take a little uh, 
break here, a little bathroom break, and uh, um, maybe eat something, but there's some elephant trees, I guess they're called, pretty rare, um, pretty cool. All right, we are taking uh, a lunch break, and everybody else is too. Lunch break on the trail. Nobody else is coming down here. This is a super remote place and we hopefully will find a beach all to ourselves and nobody else there. So, what do you think? Think we'll find it? Cross your fingers? <laughs> well, we reached uh, the beach, but we're probably gonna continue on to another spot further up because uh, this one doesn't have a real good beach, but we made it here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna kind of go explore this area up there and uh, uh, see if there maybe is a better camp spot out of the wind. Sal de tu nido, paloma linda. Anda y prueba tu volar No tengas miedo mi palomita Que nada te va a pasar Anda y prueba tus alas bonitas Sin que el temor te limite Vuela paloma bien alto mi vida No dudes que siempre amanece Ya amanecerá Paloma linda fun blazing trail on the sand that's pretty cool <laughs> it's always fun doing that That's an awesome spot right there. Can't beat that. Wow. Awesome. Let's continue. All right, well, there's really nothing, anything special past where I was. Um, yeah, it's pretty rocky, but yeah, it came from, there's the car way out over there. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really special, uh, that would be worth changing. All right, we got all the, uh, vehicles in the line here. Beautiful spot. We're not going to camp right here. We're going to go back over to way over there. And, uh, it's a little sheltered there because I think the afternoons get windy here and the winds come from that way. So we're gonna uh, go back over there with the shelter. camp for tonight and uh, um, it's uh, pretty windy right now but uh, it will uh, calm down it should calm down but yeah I got a guide out and I might uh, put some rocks on the corners because they might fly off but um, 
yeah we'll see how this tent does in the uh in the wind like this our tent was caving in yeah so our our vehicle was was over there because we wanted our kitchen kind of protected and we thought the wind uh would die down by now but it hasn't so we ended up having to move the vehicle over here to block the wind so our tent doesn't collapse and so we're, we guide it out and right there we guide it out and i think before we go to bed just to be safe we're gonna guide out to the bumper itself all right so for tonight we are going to do um, burgers but a little bit different so we have some elk and some venison and uh, we cooked this up before and this is just the um, leftover meat from the package and uh, this will be mine and uh, Nancy's gonna have her own of uh, just regular ground beef all right it's all seasoned we got elk venison and ground beef all right there it is yeah man it's gonna be so good so elk is on the right and um, venison is on the left and it's gonna be delicious and Nancy's getting hers ready and yeah we're just gonna enjoy it um, we already know it tastes good so um, we'll uh, uh, catch you in the morning Whew. well good morning it's a crazy morning it is windy, 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 windy. You probably can't even hear me, but whew, it was windy last night. But sunrise is coming up here. It looks pretty awesome, but I don't know what we're gonna do. We were planning on staying here, but it might be, uh, we might try to head somewhere where it's not quite so windy, but we'll see. All right, we are uh, moving on to another spot uh, it was just too windy last night so we are all packed up and uh, we're the last ones but um, uh, yeah we're gonna see what else we could find so uh, we'll see you on the trail thanks for watching part one part two will be out in a few weeks and uh, uh, if you'd like to subscribe we appreciate it and like the video and maybe we'll catch you down in Baja mm -hmm.